Then why the f are you rubbing her back? Doesn't she, she isn't she with Nick? Isn't she with Nick? Isn't she with Nick? Huh? Mm. Then why the f are, why is she rubbing, why are you rubbing? No, you don't tell me shut up. You don't tell me shut up, you heard me? Huh? Are you listening to me? I'm right oh, here. The, no, I'm not going to give you your phone. Your, what's yours is mine, no? No, I'm gonna stay here. He's my husband. Oh, we are leaving. Oh, that's fine. There. No, you don't tell me to go outside. I'm following you. I don't care that you go that way. You need to go pick her up after work. I'm talking to you. Okay, story time. <laughs> so I work at a jewelry store, and today a man came in looking for a gift for his wife for their 10th year anniversary. He ended up picking out a piece that said, my beautiful wife. And I said, anything else for you today? And he said, no, that's it for her, but I do want to make another purchase using a separate credit card. And could you possibly create a different account for me? And I said, sure, what are you looking for? And he said, do you have anything that says girlfriend? And I said, yes. And he said, perfect, I'll take it. And do you have anything that says happy one year anniversary to go with it? And I said, yes and he said perfect i'll take it so i boxed everything up all nice and i put them in their respected bags he had me mark a k for kristen on the bottom of his wife's bag and an l for laura on the bottom of his girlfriend's bag i put pretty bows on them i handed it to him i said they're gonna love it have a nice day and he said thank you and shit i just remembered that his wife's name is laura and his girlfriend's name is kristen i must have mixed up the bags oops When did you finally realize that you were done in your relationship? Oh, my time to shine. Okay, so this is actually with my ex-girlfriend, who we were together for seven years. And, well, this is uh, the day I found out that she cheated on me. So we were in the shower, too much information, but I noticed that there was a hickey on her neck. And at that time, we weren't doing anything physical. And I asked her, and she told me that I was being insecure about it. So I was like, oh, shit, maybe I am being insecure, insecure my bad. And then she ends up telling me after we get out of the shower that she hooked up with uh, her boss. And that they've been, like, communicating. He gave her a hickey. They've been seeing each other, like, after work and shit like that. And she blamed me for her cheating because I had mentioned that I wanted a kid with her. But obviously, we're gay. We can't have fucking kids. And so she said that she went to go have sex with a guy so she can give me a kid, this and this. And I was like, bullshit, bro. Don't try to play me like that. And so, yeah, we ended up just splitting up and going. Guys, I swear to God, I just saw the kid that I've been talking to for a month with a fucking blonde bitch. I swear on my life. I am I literally put my hood up and I'm fucking following him right now all over the mall. He has no fucking idea. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm literally going to show you. Hold on. That's literally them. They're literally walking into Victoria's Secret. I'm about to expose this motherfucker's ass in two seconds. He's This bitch is wearing a fucking neon green dress in the fucking pouring rain. Absolutely not. Now we're going to buy fucking underwear over my dead body. I'm walking straight up to the car. I don't give a fuck. You guys don't even know how much I'm holding it. I would have made a scene, but this is a family fucking place. Come out. Come out. Come out. Why what do you, you mean here? what the fuck? What Why am I here? Me for? I'm not. F you First of all, you can see her from my away. Shut Weird the fuck up, bitch. Start walking. What? First of all, that's the first thing you're going to say to me. Yet yeah, you were crying on the phone when I blocked your number. No call or That is ID. not what happened at all. You're all I blocked your number. Making TikToks I about me. First of all, how you should have saw that one coming. Is that? You how how is disrespectful. You want to talk about disrespectful. disrespectful. You pulled up. I don't even know, bro. But then, yeah. Then but like, on. you want to know what's funny if we're talking about butts, butts, butts? But you wanted me first. You cried all the time. It ain't so that I'm... big of a deal, Danielle. What ah! the fuck? <laughs> oh, you're done. You're finished. Goodbye. You're, you're done. Honestly, once he said it ain't that big of a deal, cut, cut, bye, on, bye, bye. Locked my boyfriend out of the car. Why is pizza Hut FaceTiming you? It's, I ordered a pizza, Maria. And they FaceTime you? It's a business call. Me all right, so then you wouldn't mind if I answer. just had her first baby congrats girl to you for like you know pushing the baby into this world i commend you but 
she feels like her boyfriend's mind is just not in the right place like she has a whole newborn baby and he just like don't be there you know she feels like he's on like dating sites so she just wants to see where his priorities are so she was like girl i see you do loyalty tests can you you know scroll through his job and see if maybe like he'll give you his phone number if he'll flirt with you yada 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 because she hasn't been able to really catch him on anything else so i've got my hand in on the little piece of piper and we're gonna go to his job and see if he'll give me his phone number so y'all already know how this works life for part two and um i really hope that he's loyal because he has like a whole child like a, and like she's gonna picture of the baby the baby's so cute so like for part two guys fingers crossed did this girl's boyfriend give me his phone number so there's a number on the paper and just like i don't i can't like i just get like brasses in my brain why why though like what time are you gonna have to go on this date with me and you have a child like you think i don't know you have a child but i know so it's like what like miss is all types of a liar i don't he lying to me he lying to his girl like ah uh, dang dang disheartening um this this poor little little baby poor baby girl <sighs> i don't know maybe he'll he'll turn around and get his life together but yeah as of right now it's it's no bueno it's not good hey child if you want to stay on messy tiktok interact with this video or follow me pause to read this girl's been with her boyfriend for two and a half years. They were getting ready to have a baby. They had the baby room ready. They had the baby shower and everything. Unfortunately, she miscarried two months ago at six months pregnant. She said she hasn't been in the mood to you know what at all. She said the chemistry is off between the two of them, but she doesn't know if it's because of what happened or because of the lack of play that he's getting. So she said to be very tempting. Let's see. So I said, okay, melanin glowing in the sun. You look good in the light. I bet you look good in the dark too. He said, in the dark? I said, in the dark, like in my bed. You're nasty. Then he said, oh, so you're Bobo. Where you from? I said, that I am. Is that a bad thing? And I live in Miami. Then he said, not at all. And me too. Then I said, well, are you trying to test my theory out? Then he said, we can't do it at my place. Do what? I said, we can do it at my place. He said, let me see how far you are from me. Send your address. Mm -mm. At this point, do I even need to say it? Basura.